Welcome to Tony's Table Tennis Talk. Today we will be watching a clip from a WTT feeder event from the year 2022 between Charlotte Carey of Wales and Su Pei Ling of Chinese Taipei. This video was taken off uh, Su Pei Ling's Facebook live feed, so please do excuse the quality. And I do want to thank Pei Ling for her approval of me using this video. So let's get started. Okay, so you guessed right. Today we are going to be talking about this umpire. We can clearly see that both players are starting to get irritated as somehow the umpire rolls his hand to say serve. However, Sue has already tossed the ball to serve. We can also hear Sue's coach saying try and concentrate. Here we can see the two players getting ready and they are actually waiting for the umpire. The umpire is busy resetting a scoreboard to 0-0. However, the umpire is instructing Sue to serve. But Sue's asking where is the ball? So Sue saw the ball at the corner. So basically, and, yeah. in between games, the umpire needs to collect the ball. Or if there is an assistant umpire, the assistant umpire will collect the ball for the umpire. And when the ball is given back to a place to serve, the umpire needs to make sure the scoreboard is reset correctly. So in this case, Sue still doesn't have a zero on, on her scoreboard. And she needs to go and find the ball herself. So here you can see the point is already over and the umpire still hasn't reset his uh, scorecard to 0-0 and he's busy flipping uh, the points and I think he's getting confused to see how many needs to be awarded to who. Now Sue's trying to tell the umpire you know, you know what's going on and Charlotte is there decided to walk over to do the job for the umpire. So hopefully it's now correct now. Sue's obviously getting a bit irritated and they need to get ready for the next point. So the point has been completed and the umpire did not flip the scoreboard. You can see Sue is getting frustrated. The umpire probably asked Sue to serve the ball without turning the scoreboard. So I heard from Sue that um, many of these mistakes was made in this match by the umpire. So Charlotte is saying it's my point, please flip the scoreboard. So hopefully now the game can continue. So Charlotte hit the ball on and the umpire did not flip the scoreboard. So now Sue's coach is saying the score is 9-5-9-5. Nine, five, nine, five. And Sue decides to walk over to do the job for the umpire. And while Sue has calmed down to serve, up goes the hand again from the umpire. Now clearly you can see that Sue is frustrated with the whole incident and um, you don't really expect these things to happen in a professional setting. Um, I don't even see this in the amateur or club table tennis with uh, you know, social part-time umpires. Here alone this is a WTT event, the WTT feeder. Now I'm not too sure what's wrong with the umpire. This is obviously not normal and the players you know, were obviously struggling in this uh, match. Now the question is, what can you do as a player or the coach? Now obviously this is a very, very unique circumstance. There is something wrong with the umpire. This is not normal. It could be health related. It could be anything. I'm not here to discredit the umpire, but as a player, as a coach, you need to know what you can do. What is your rights? 
basically what you can do is request for the referee to come and you can explain to the referee the situation and obviously in this case both plays are frustrated so you know request for umpire change the referee should be able to do it and in there if not the referee may want to see uh you know the umpire um umpire in the game and then decide if the umpire is unfit to continue and to change the umpire so that is your only solution and i do hope that we don't get to experience this but if the circumstance does appear then at least you know what to do fortunate for sue she managed to win 4-1 the match was 34 minutes long and it was definitely a 34 minute that both players didn't enjoy all right, that concludes today's episode. Please leave any comments or questions you may have in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.